Welcome back to the channel. This is the Earth Science Classroom. This video is on geology. I'm looking at two terms in particular, which are anticline and syncline. We're going to discuss the definition of both terms and how a landscape can have these two terms form in a particular area. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Our planet's interior has a layer called the asinosphere, where we have a semi-molten, semi-solid layer about 150 kilometers down where a lot of the magma is generated which can form convection currents in the upper mantle and form a kind of conveyor belt of which the rigid, cold, lithospheric plates move over and move as a result of these convection currents. As a result of the convection currents and the moving magma, you get crustal deformation with lithospheric plates moving slowly against each other, creating plate boundaries where two or more plates are moving against each other. And in this case, this video will look at the convergent plate boundaries where you get the deformation of the crust and orogeny, which is where you have mountains being formed through folding of colliding plates. Prior to any forces or tectonic deformation of the crust, which is brittle and cold, you get this original surface of the Earth prior to anything happening. Then, due to plate tectonics and crustal deformation and convection currents, you get these compressional tectonic forces colliding and pushing towards each other, so the crust is deformed in this manner. So it's no longer flat, it is now being bent and folded and deformed in this manner. So as a result of the crustal deformation, the convection currents, plate tectonics, these compressional forces through tectonics is creating this folded kind of up and down landscape to the crust, which has been folded and manipulated due to heat and pressure. And the layers of rock, whether it be sedimentary or igneous or metamorphic, are being formed into this wavy up and down corrugated landscape and here we have the formation of both an anticline and a syncline. The anticline is the high ridge, the top part of the fold, and the syncline is the bottom part, the valley, the basin, the depression, the lower part where the two sides meet at the bottom, and the anticline is the opposite where the two sides meet at the top. So the crest and the trough in some ways in terms of wave energy, and the crust is folded in this manner to create these two geologic terms. Now these anticlines and synclines can happen and be formed on a variety of different sizes and scales from very small individual rock formations to thousands of square miles in terms of large provinces, in terms of physiographic regions on a continent a large landmass. And one good example of this is the Valley and Ridge province in North America, covering large areas of the eastern seaboard of the United States. And in this case, a great example is the area of central Pennsylvania through to eastern Pennsylvania and up into New York. But the Pennsylvania part is where we had the orogeny of Rodinia, the supercontinent, around 1.1 billion years ago, push Africa and Europe to and collide with North America and forming the larger Appalachian Mountains and behind it was this corrugated pushing and compressional stress of the crust behind the Appalachians forming this valley and ridge, this anticline syncline landscape that we see today in central Pennsylvania. And this area is quite lovely in terms of the valleys and the ridges and the high elevation areas, the mountains, and in between the mountains with these deep valleys and wide valleys where you have lots of farmland and lots of rivers flowing through, and it's just a beautiful area to behold. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on earth science.